when it comes to boxing, once again, the theater of the unexpected shows itself. And as we look ahead to an upcoming fight for September 30th, Canelo Alvarez is going to step in and face off against Jamel Charlo with his undisputed titles on the line. Now, Jamel is the undisputed junior welterweight champion, but his titles are not on the line. But Canelo's 168 pound super middleweight titles are on the line. But one thing that people have found out is that Canelo hasn't indicated what's next after Charlo if he's victorious. And many are wondering whether or not Canelo has things pretty much mapped out and he's not willing to let you know even if David Benavidez may be a part of this three fight deal with PBC so we're going to have to figure it out because he's not going to share with us but let's talk about this a little further Undisputed. That's what's happening in boxing today. And many fighters are taking advantage of the opportunities to set themselves apart in boxing. And we look ahead to none other than Saul Canelo Alvarez, who is currently undisputed at super middleweight and what his intents are as he signed a three-fight deal with PBC to forward his career. After the thoughts of whether or not he was going to face Dimitri Bivol in a rematch at 175 pounds and even entertaining the likes of other fighters at higher weights he's come back to his senses and said hey I'll fight for my titles but it's not against the guy that you want to see him in against you want to see him in with David Benavidez and Canelo has no interest in Benavidez at this time so in steps Jamel Charlo now Jamel Charlo is the 154 pound undisputed champion and after two action-packed bouts against Brian Castaño he has proven that he is the goods but he's awfully smaller than Canelo there was a time when these two men along with Charlo's brother and Demetrius Andre were all hovering around 154 and Canelo at that time had no interest in f facing these gentlemen. After his defeat at the hands of Floyd Mayweather, he had a close fight against Austin Trout and then also Arislandi Lara. Canelo opted to go in different directions. And people wondered and they questioned why. Even with the deal that has gone down currently 
a few years ago before he signed that last contract with Matchroom Boxing, clearing out their bank vault. Canelo had an opportunity to face Charlo at that time. But what's different this time around where he decided to say yes? Well, one thing is Charlo has been on the shelf for a minute. Yeah, he hasn't fought as frequent as he may have liked, but none of the PBC fighters have. Charlo who is the same age as Canelo, 33, is six foot tall with a 73 inch reach to Canelo's five foot eight and 70 and a half inch reach. And his last fight was in May of 2022, his rematch where he became undisputed at 154 against Castaño. He's been on the shelf for a while. And he's also suffered a hand injury that assisted with he being on the shelf a little longer than he may have wanted to be. Or did PBC decide to hold him out of the ring instead of facing his number one contender in Tim Zhu? Are they feeding Charlo to Canelo? The inactivity for him is questionable. Canelo just let fought in May of this year against John Ryder and won a unanimous decision. He fought in September of last year, a unanimous decision over Gennady Golovkin. And prior to that, May of 2022, where he lost the unanimous decision to Dimitri Bivol. The inactivity of a fighter can spell disaster for a fighter. And at the championship level, there are questions that you could have. <clears throat> As Canelo not talking about what his real plans with PVC are, there was an article from Boxing News 24 where it says that He's not saying if David Benavidez is in his third fight of his PBC deal. And the article written by Dan Ambrose says Canelo Alvarez is failing to come clean and reveal if Benavidez will be fight number three of his three deal with PBC. Is Canelo choosing to keep it secret so that he could surprise the fans? Or is he hoping Benavidez can no longer make the weight for the 168 pound division by next year. Fans are willing to give Canelo a pass for choosing Jamel Charlo for his September 30th fight, but they won't be as tolerant if his next two fights of his three fight deal with PBC are against Scrubs. We've already heard the rumors that Jamal Charlo will be next for Canelo after he faces Jamel on September 30th but he surprisingly denied that saying he's not next. With Jamal's two plus years of inactivity and the slurring he's been doing in interviews, he won't be a good choice for Canelo to fight next. It would be risky for Canelo to fight Jamal because he might not make it through training camp with, without pulling out for one reason or another. You see, all of this drama and he could do the simplest thing, which would be to face David Benavidez Jr. I mean, David Benavidez, excuse me. But he's not trying to do that. But why? I believe that Benavidez is the future at 168, given the chance. But it doesn't look like Canelo is willing to do that anytime soon. So facing Jamal is a safe bet for defending his titles. As talented as Jamel is, Jamel is a fighter that has been on the shelf as well. He's not necessarily going to go in and shock Canelo with anything because let's not forget, Canelo has the experience of Benavidez under his belt. 
I mean, excuse me, the, the experience of Dmitry Bevel under his belt. Also, Sergei Kovalev. So those are bigger men than Mel Charlo. And though they're the same age, Charlo has never fought at 168. The weight will be a difference. The strength will be a difference. The experience will be a difference. And you can't deny that Canelo's experience of 59 and 2 with two draws and 39 KOs won't be a factor in this fight. We just want to know exactly what his plans are because he has moved in a manner that a lot of people can't understand but he's a cash cow for someone not necessarily PBC not necessarily for himself the PTB wants Canelo where he is and he is thriving and surviving under these circumstances. So answer me this question. Is Jamel Charlo being fed to the lions? Unquestionably. Is he prepared to be Daniel in the lion's den? Uncertain. We have to know exactly what's happening in the sport of boxing. You have to know exactly how boxing is being played because there are no coincidences and also there are no excuses. But at the end of the day, Canelo is doing this for reasons that most people haven't even figured out yet. But I do understand what it means when a fighter has been showed the bank fault of a promotional platform and they're willing to throw money at him in droves. You can bet believe they want to cash in on this situation. If Charlo was to upset Canelo Alvarez, it would be great for himself, his career, but it would be disastrous for those who are really backing Canelo and I'm talking about the money people so people watch your money this is something that you got to keep your eye on I don't know but Canelo doesn't have to tell me what his future plans are you got guys that are on the shelf and he's looking to pick and pluck each and every one of them that he can off but what do you think? This is Stormy B Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know whether or not you feel that Canelo Alvarez is prepared to really fight who you want to see him fight, or is he just out there making waves? for what we know to be money grabs. Peace to everyone out there and everyone remain safe.